Hi and welcome to this video for the BTEC Applied Science Level 3, Unit 2. So what I'm going to quickly do is just go through how to use Excel. So obviously in the time of lockdown, some people don't have graph paper at home and are struggling a little bit with the computer software. Depending upon the version of Excel that you're using, your buttons might be in slightly different places, but there's a thousand odd tutorials on YouTube so you should be able to find one similar to this. But I'm going to be using the 365 version um, since that's one with the college systems. So what I've got here is the data from the previous video. The way to lay it out is your X then Y. Uh, the way Excel picks it up, it is sort of in a run before you jump style format that you're looking told at school. So I've got my concentration and my absorbance values. All we're going to do is select the data. You then go on to insert, cross the chart here, drop down and insert a scatter diagram. As you can see, it's starting to look fairly complete already, but we're just going to tidy it up with a few things to make it nice and neat for handing in. First thing, select any of your points, left click, right click on it, and add a trend line. So we get a line of best fit there. Now, the line of best fit, there's a couple of things we want to set to it. So on the right hand side here, there is the uh, options open for formatting the trend lines. What we want to do is set the intercept to zero, so we know our blank had zero concentration in there. So we want to force it through the origin. What you can do as well, tick these other boxes to get the equation in your R squared value. So just to discuss the significance of these, the R squared value basically tells you how close all of your points are to that line of best fit. The closer it is to one, the better. So we can see there 0.999 all my points are pretty much spot on that line. The lower that number, then the more um, sort of not precise your points are with regards to the line of best fit. So you can discuss that in an evaluation statement. And we've got the equation above it, y equals mx there. And what that's useful for is when we've got our unknown absorbent across here, we have our Y value, so we can insert the value into there to figure out what the concentration of these are. So the way you would do that is just a calculator, most likely, or we can do it with Excel here. So we know our Y value is 1.1, and we would just divide that by the 8.2455, it says, across there. And we've got our concentration for a sample there. And then you could just repeat that for the other absorbents to get the concentration of the second one. Now, the axes at the moment are just random numbers. They don't mean anything. So please make sure on your graph to actually insert some axes. So what we're going to do is when you click on the graph, you can click on chart design add a chart element on the left hand, top left hand side here. And as we can see, we've got the axes titled we can actually put in there. So on the horizontal, if I put one in, and I can see this is concentration, put my unit in. And if I repeat that, On the vertical here. So absorbance doesn't have a unit, but at least I know what these values actually mean. And then a chart title, just give a title for your graph. So Anything roughly similar to that, just saying what you're actually doing with it. 
and voila, you have your colorimetry graph plotted. So you've got your calibration curve there. You've used your formula of the line to solve the concentration of the unknowns. Submit, hand in, and passed. Thank you.